Today I'm going to show you how I think you can make a lucid dreaming mask with the Circuit Playground uh, Express. Um, first I'm going to go over uh, the history kind of like lucid dreaming uh, devices and I'm going to give, show you an example of a lucid dreaming um, device that I've got. I used to use this um, back in the day. They don't actually make these anymore. Very hard to find some of the better lucid dreaming hardware that used to exist in the kind of 90s and early 2000s. So I'll go through uh, some of this older hardware and potentially ways that we can make it better using the Circuit Playground. And lucid dreaming is, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm assuming you will know um, because if you've clicked on this video, but for anyone that doesn't, lucid dreaming is uh, the phenomena where you are, have a heightened sense of awareness and consciousness when you're dreaming. Most people will experience this in their lifetime at least once. And if, with practice, you can do it a lot more frequent than that. Since the mid 90s, there's been some interest and experimentation in developing aids to uh, induce lucid dreams. And there's two primary ways that people have been trying that so far. Uh, one is um, sound and the other is light. And it's known that when you're dreaming, when you're sleeping, you can, uh, if, you, if you shine light through an eyelid um, in your retina, then those will be picked up. A lot of the time that will just wake you up. But if you do things I guess in a subtle way then uh, it's been shown that you can induce lucid dreaming. And so the theory is if you have a device that can detect eye movement, which would indicate REM or rapid eye movement, which is something that happens when you're dreaming, and that same device can either flash a light in your eye or make a noise, you've effectively got a lucid dreaming aid. This is a REM Dreamer Pro. This is based on Really, it's, it's kind of a copy of the Nova Dreamer, which was created by the Lucidity Institute. But there's not many of these devices and they kind of all work uh, in a similar way. So I'll turn this on. I'm not going to go through uh, all of the different functions it's got on here, but essentially uh, you have options here to set the uh, delay. So basically how long you want to hibernate the device for before it starts checking for eye movement and REM. To demonstrate how uh, the detection works, um, effectively what we've got here is we've got a LED and an IR sensor. And this is basically the side that would face you. And it goes inside of a mask, which I'll, I'll show you shortly. And I'll just go through these functions just so you can understand how the board works. It's got a speaker on here and a couple of LEDs which light up when, you, um, when you're dreaming. So I'll cycle through the functions and the main ones I wanted to show you was there is an option here to where you can do a test. So this is a mode that I've put the board in, which is uh, it's looking for movement. And obviously because it's based on IR, there's loads of IR signals going. So to show you how this works, I need to cover it with something. So I'll just cover it with my hand. You can see it's kind of stopped because both the sensor and the and the LED are, are covered. But if I start to move it, even just slight movements, you can see that it, it triggers it. So it definitely works in, in terms of tracking movement. A bit annoying that is sound after a while. If I go to the end, and I'll just turn this off. Those are the LEDs, turning that on basically how it works quite straightforward and then this is the mask that you put it in so I'll put the board in here you just uh, slot the board in here and then you would uh, wear it like this obviously your eyes would be covering this area here so yeah I mean it's it's got this spongy area here so it covers it stops you from obviously pressing your face against the board um, it is more comfortable than it might first look. It's actually not that bad, but I don't really like where I'm not I'm not really keen on wearing a mask to sleep. I find it really awkward. Even this, it, it's not much pressure on your forehead, but it does just feel weird. The material it's made from is okay. So I have an issue with a lot of the newer masks and the synthet uh, synthetic materials they're made from. I get quite a bad kind of skin irritation from them, but I never had an issue with this. So um, I'll give them that. This particular model actually had a uh, headphone jack as well. So you could add headphones in there and record your own audio cues. I never bothered using that. I just kind of stuck with um, LEDs. And they, it generally did work okay. Uh, the only 
problem is I found these to be too bright even on low settings and I found that you, you can see how sensitive it was when I was uh, demonstrating the board it does trigger quite easily so even if you move slightly or you know your room goes a bit brighter in the day certain little things can trigger it and, and make it go off quite easily which is a bit irritating and what that means is it doesn't have anything to compensate and, and look for uh, you know body and face movement and that issue is something that we'll uh, try to address. So this is the Circuit Playground Express. Most of, a lot of you will be familiar with this. It's quite a popular dev board from Adafruit Industries. Quite small, great form factor. But what's interesting about this and, and got me interested in using this uh, board is the, if you can look, this has actually got an IR and sensor pair right in the middle of the board. And these are spaced out in just about the right way uh, to detect uh, eye movement. So basically I've taken this circuit Python board and just recreated what we've got here. It's effectively the same thing. The other advantage that this board has, it's got capable of logging your eye movement and just head movement in general. So you could actually compensate for that movement issue that I was talking about uh, earlier. When you first turn it on, you have 20 seconds to set and I can change the brightness of this with this left button. Um, I'll just leave it at that for now and then when that finishes I can then set also uh, the time delay so each of these are 30 minute uh, inc intervals you can obviously change that in the code this is all open source anyway and then when that turns off the board will then go into its uh, main loop these uh, NeoPixels from Adafruit fully programmable they're pretty pretty awesome Okay, so now what I've set this board to do is check for body or face movement initially. It'll take a few samples of those over a set period of time. It'll then check for eye movement as well. I'm just moving my hands in the way just to demonstrate that. Obviously this is exaggerated. And now because I haven't obviously moved the board, it thinks my face or body hasn't moved, but it can detect that my eyes are moving and so that's why these LEDs are flashed. If I had moved the board or had moved my face as an example, then these wouldn't have lit up. And that's how we can distinguish between light sleep uh, and REM. This is the uh, case that I've made for housing the circuitry. And I'm using a AAA battery pack. I definitely don't recommend using a LiPo battery in front of your eyes while you're asleep. So it's standard uh, AAA battery pack there. And then this is basically just a uh, coin wallet. Um, so the way this works is you can put this in here. The hole there is obviously what your eye would see going into the board. Um, and then if I put that in, you put all the wires together, you would normally just turn that on um, when you're going to use it. And that keeps the circuitry in place. And then you can still see through that. And then what I've done is I've got a mask here and I've just cut a hole through the front as you can see and then what we do is we've got velcro to attach the circuit board to it I for whatever reason it works best when I put the IR LED at the lower part so I'm going to put it this way doesn't matter if it's slightly angled and then from the front this is how you would see it there's enough of a cushion there that this is never going to touch your face. I mean, you need to smack your head against the wall or something for your eye to reach there. Or, or your eyelashes might kind of brush up against some of the buttons and so on, but you're, you're not in danger of anything major happening. And you can tidy this up a bit. I, I know it looks like a bit of a butcher's job here, and I literally did use a Leatherman to cut these holes out. So you can definitely make this a lot neater. Just lined it up a bit better here. Uh, I haven't cut much of a hole out, so what this means is that the uh, LEDs on this one, all of the light is quite indirect. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to cut a bigger hole and, and have more of that light come into your eye, uh, then you can do that. But I'm going to stick with this for the minute and see how we get on. So there we have it. The Circuit Playground Express, the humble hobby board, is more advanced than some of the commercial products that are out there actually, and all at a fraction of the cost. I'm also looking at doing this with the Gemma M0, so it's an even smaller form factor, almost inconveniently small. And if you think about it, the, the Circuit Playground has so many different tools that we're never gonna use, whereas the Gemma is kind of much more stripped back and bare bones. 
um, and really all I needed to attach was the uh, an analog accelerometer and a and this is a um, probably can't see it there but this is basically a uh, IR proximity detector that they use on smaller robots not sure exactly how well this will work um, but I've just started coding it now so I'll set up a separate video for this one so take a look out for that otherwise the rest of the project files for the circuit playground are on my uh, blog post you can look at all the links from there I've got links to other YouTube videos because it's not completely straightforward actually taking proximity readings um, from the playground express so have a look up on that and all of the links